Hi, my name is Vi, uh, and this is the beautiful Marco, the handsome Marco. <laughs> so he's making a video of this <laughs> because someone has asked for it <laughs> about my dog to be in a video. <laughs> um, so this week I have a few things to share. Um, hopefully that will help people to shift to focus from a state of being fearful to be more productive and to focus on something uh, better in life by practicing gratitude. So, um, so a lot of studies have shown that gratitude does have tremendous benefit in your um, emotional being and in your mental stage as well. So let's say in this pandemic, like according to the status, like 80, more than 80% of people actually recover from coronavirus, right? But it seems like the whole planet is focusing on uh, the 5% of people, the 5-10% of people that are actually dying, but it's, it's, so why don't we focus on the, the, the amount of people that are being recover which is more than 80% and a lot of them are actually showing like mild symptoms right so let's look at the class is Michael what are you doing so let's look at the class is half full over than half empty and it's actually more than 85% full <laughs> Michael what are you doing come back here Michael Michael okay, okay. so <laughs> 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 it's, so, it's so disruptive um, and so uh, I, I would like to share my gratitude list and hopefully it would be helpful for you and I would like to challenge you as well to come up with at least five things that you can be grateful for during this time so that it would give you a better mindset in, in order to focus things that is more positive in your life. Um, so let's go with me first. Uh, so what I'm thankful for these days is um, great help from my friends. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling me shower and then helping helping me with uh, creating videos like this. And um, I'm also grateful for my health because I don't get sick and um, and that's the reason why I. I, I can create things like this and try to come up with different ways in order to um, motivate other people and to help other people around me as well. Um, <laughs> and uh, let's see what else I'm grateful for. And water. I'm very grateful <laughs> for water these days. It's not. Um, as a lot of you know that I actually live in a van and it's actually not really easy to get water these days so um, the less resources that you have uh, like the more you become aware of it and being more grateful for it um, and so it's just like really the little things now is like doing even grocery and food and even toilet paper <laughs> I'm grateful for toilet paper <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to find these things. Um, yeah, just the, the, these little things, and, and because because of this pandemic, it becomes uh, more obvious to us. Like these these little things actually matter. Um, so that's number three on my list. Um, see, I'm grateful for. The fact that no one in my family or my friends is actually sick and this is the reason why I'm trying to help everyone to focus their, to change their focus from a state of being anxious and fearful to um, being grateful uh, because you're not really sick right now and you have abundance of health and why not take advantage of that and do something productive out of your life instead of being anxious and focusing on that five or ten percent of people are actually dying because there's just so much more um in the other side of the class being half more than half full right so why don't we focus on that and um 
see. Um, well, I'm also grateful for nature because like the more you stay inside, <laughs> the more you actually realize, oh my gosh, I miss nature so much. Like, I, I, I can't wait to actually go outside and have fresh air. Really, like I'm grateful for air even. Uh, just to have a little bit of fresh air and um, just like a, a walk outside or a run outside it just like being in nature is just so refreshing and so often we kind of take that for granted and not realizing like all these little things around us um, that have been supporting our life and we're just so busy with life that we can that it's just so, so easy for us to to process our, our mind we're not really being grateful for it so it's actually this pandemic is actually a good time for us to look into our life right now and um, and find those little things to be grateful for so that you can shift your energy you can shift your focus like try to find things that you uh, uh, that you love to do or what your hobby is and maybe once you're in the better stage of emotion when you're out of that anxiety maybe you can see a little bit clearer of things that you love to do and focus on that and how you can turn that into the income or focus on um, uh, building a better relationship within your family and take advantage of this downtime um, to to reassess our life and find those little things to be grateful for um, instead of being instead of being anxious and being fearful, right? Because it doesn't really help anything, uh, and it, it actually makes you even more sick. So uh, why not try to get out of that stage and? shift our focus, shift our mind, shift our mindset because only then the more people shift this energy like the faster we can get out of this pandemic and we will come out with stronger and better than it used to be when we all healed right from this global crisis um, and that would also help the economy like not just like staying inside of course like we help with the virus but like what, what can we do at this time to come out of the pandemic like better than who we were before like why our life was so destructive we lose on the money and stock on the money um, uh, and we lose the money by not by not working anymore um, so why not doing taking all of that uh, problem and destruction and just shift it, shift the energy so you can have the better solution. Um, so that is basically my gratitude list and I would like to challenge all of you and please comment in the videos uh, if this video is helpful for you and um, let me know what, uh, what you are grateful for and how this grateful list actually help you to uh, lower down your anxiety and your fear during this time. And now I would like to challenge uh, how are you <laughs> <laughs> and let me know what is your what things that you're grateful for. Yeah, so um, well just as part of the exercise I'll go with one. Um, I'm grateful for uh, my family and uh, the fact that they are uh, intelligent enough to be prepared for this. Um, even though they are back in, in Mexico, they uh, they have already made uh, the, the the purchases they needed to to, to stay home. Um, and I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that they are all safe and uh, well. Yeah, so that's 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 my number one. Just one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ruth, what's your? Uh, for me, uh, 
I'm definitely grateful for having a place to stay during this, this time because I recently moved from Winnipeg to Vancouver. So yeah, I think I'm really grateful for that. <laughs> <laughs> So at least one is still better than nothing, right? But you can still have to come up with five things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there you go, guys. It's uh, it's your turn. You have to comment. Uh, yeah, the, the most that you can do. I mean, it's uh, there's a lot of things, of course, but, you know, if you can do one, two, or five, then that's, that should be okay. Yeah, please just uh, make your comment and let me know what you are grateful for and how this really helped you to get out of anxiety and your fear and if it helps you to shift the focus of your life in this moment at all, right? Thank you. Thank you, Vivi.